Okay. So your position is everything dictates everything. Uh, what? I don't know what that means. So you're gonna play dumb? Well, I I don't understand the question. Is, is that, that is that reality? is that is that is that you most certainly understood it? Is I this your not. little game? You little sleazy little deceptive person? So could you I ask the question you, again? Go over it again. You can't. You can't possibly. Please. Okay, I'll repeat it again. But you see, you're Literally playing the up two game. I, I don't understand what you mean. Here you That's, are a regular debater. <sighs> what's the means? question? I asked you what it that instituted and secured all instances of what is can be and cannot be in other words everything what takes everything and you said reality remember yeah, yeah that's that is all things okay. that is the same that's the same thing as saying everything dictates everything yes that's because it does i'm not sure good how how is how is how is that informative um your question is a tautology it doesn't need to be informative so you're asking like no what? sir how is that hey 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 fake it till I'm, you make it you you, you being ask. obtuse and fake it till you make it being purposely obtuse and being evasive is just going to embarrass you your position is every state everything first of all your first problem is how is that informative uh, it doesn't need to be because your question has no content. So if you're asking, is your what, statement wait, is your statement? I'm okay. trying to answer. You are, you, you know what? You are question. one of the most. You are one of the most. You no, know, no, you're not. You I say, oh, it doesn't have to be. Is your statement? Is your statement dictates everything? Is that informative? That everything dictates everything. Um, if your question is not a question that requires any informative content, then it answers the question perfectly. So if your question is, is what is the question that I ask? You see, this is what you, this is what you accept. You know what? Did, did you, this is what did pisses me ask? off more than anything about you. You just do not over talk me. Well, I'm trying to answer me off there. about you and other not over talk me or I will server meet you. I will, I will resume. This is what pisses me off about you. You ignore what is being put to you and then you give many monologues. Now your statement is everything dictates everything now is th is that declaration informative i've already answered that it's not and it doesn't need to be because your question has no content okay so when i so so when so when i ask you what dictates everything your response is non-informative that's right because your question has no content so you need to ask did every did every okay okay did everybody no 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 sir if i say to you what dictates the leaf blowing in the wind the wind anyway. is that problematic no is what problematic now if i say to you is if i say to you uh what dictates the wind, is that a problematic question for you if you ask what dictates the leaf and the wind and if by leaf and wind is literally everything that exists in the universe then the correct answer no no, the no listen to me focus focus are you autistic kiddo, i really kiddo, suspect kiddo. that kiddo. you are is, I, okay. yes i am now, actually listen, I am don't, autistic. don't call me don't, okay good then you need to work uh, on um uh, working around this well, i'm Listen actually carefully. qualified in philosophy so i'm I, telling you I, I, the answer. I, 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 right now okay now, i don't i don't think i don't think you are listen well, I being I, I, I can argumentative is the fastest way and, listen to me and i can explain to you that if you keep on over talking me again i'm going to server mute you i'm well accustomed to your bullshitting and your boulder dashing that's why i'm so stringent with you now I asked you, you a question. Me the, what the did, okay, over talk me again, and you'll be playing death by mod because I know you don't want to have a mono a mono discussion where you have to be and, and going off into lecture mode. Now, I asked you a simple question. It's all individual instances and the the entire set there. Is it a legitimate question to what dictates? a leaf blowing in the wind is that a reasonable you question you, you sure. are a bitch ass motherfucker. Okay. you need to shut the fuck up and get a life that is not me everybody in this chat room okay. needs to get a life now it's true you're yeah. not listen what you're not going to do here is you're not going to do your usual shtick here you're going to respond truthfully and transparently and there's not going to be any shit lectures my answer was a yes there did you is miss it that? all i need are simple answers my answer was a yes a there. reasonable question to say why okay okay if listen over talk me again 
And I literally you answered your question. Idiot. Okay. All right. I didn't hear your answer. Is yes. I said yes like four times. Holy shit. Okay, good. Literally good. four. Good. Did now, if I else say that? If I, if I, I did not hear that. Okay. Given your prior behavior being evasive, because I didn't hear you, I suspected that you were dodging as you usually do. So I'm glad you answered. Now, is it reasonable of me to say, why does two leaves blow in the wind? Is that reasonable? Sure. Yes. Okay. If I ask you what it is that dictates each and every discrete state, okay, or instance, in the set of all things, is that a reasonable question? No, because it's self-referring, it's tautology. No, 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 no. Why is it unreasonable to ask what dictates a plurality of events? Why is that unreasonable? Because if you're talking about all events and you're asking what dictates all events, that would entail an event outside mm -hmm. of the so set of all it... events. Wait, let me finish. Don't no. talk over me. Don't talk over me. So if you're talking about a set of all events and you're asking what dictates that set of all events, you would need an external event to that set, which you can't have. It's a meaningless question. No, 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 no. It's not meaningless because it could be self-referential. That's that's my answer. Do you answers. know what? Wait, do you, wait, wait, do you, wait. Do you, Okay. Yes, I know what that excellent, means, and excellent. I agree. I agree. So, with you are you are you invoking remember, are you invoking the aseity of the set? Sort of. Aseity isn't a real property, but no, no. I say, okay, aseity. Aseity means aseity means. You know what? Let me finish. My patient's going to run out with you. You're not going to do You're your normal bullshit. Me. I'm not interrupting okay. you. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, so, oh, oh, so he does it again. Okay, we're done. Okay. One of the biggest bullshitters on YouTube and Literally Discord I have questions, ever Keith. heard. This is why I don't have patience for him, okay? Yeah, it's on YouTube. When I ask, you'll, you'll, you'll notice that originally when I first asked him, he didn't come up with this shtick that it's like some malfunction, okay? Now he's playing a game, okay? If I say to you, what is it that dictates God, okay? I would say, well, there is nothing that externally dictates God. What dictates God is his own internal, internal uh, intrinsic nature. He possesses a satiety. Rather, that God is self-contained rather than um, he's derivative. So when I ask about the pluralities of things, all right, all right, hey, welcome to my ban list, okay? Now, I would have exercised vastly more patience with fake it till you make it T-jump, but because he has a bullshitting and just, you know, just simply being for, verbose and he's pretending like he's debating and he's not, there's no point in going on any further, okay? Because I've been down this path with him. So. So in other words, I crushed him. I literally answered his question and he was too stupid to actually understand it. Each member of the set the members of the set okay all the members of the set he could just send to me when he says that everything dictates everything all he's just simply saying is everything is characteristically uh ah uh, say meaning it possesses a sadie everything possesses a, a sadie well here's the problem abstractions cannot stand in causal relations an abstraction is not, not the same thing as a natured entity okay so when we say everything that's an abstraction of two or more concrete things or natured entities okay so then the question is is if he, if he says everything dictates everything okay how does an abstraction dictate all of the set of three particulars right and and uh, so everything he, is not an he address he really did not address please don't oh, interrupt he really didn't address uh the issue of how it was informative the second issue is he didn't address he could know this okay okay now we'll Don't. we'll try it one more time since you since you refused to give it a mature clear non uh bullshitting answer how could you possibly 
possibly know that universal declaration? How do you know that? What universal declaration? Like, like the guy previously said, that's not every, 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 everything, everything, everything did, okay, Kittle. listen to me. Don't over talk me. You're over talking me. Kittle. How can you possibly know? Okay. All right. Definitely all autistic. Abuse. Maybe you can get some medication. No, it's not mon abuse because I with this clown before. Okay. I mean, you want to get uh, when I refer to the autistic right? trains, the the way the reason why I refer to it as autistic is that it is self imposed, it is self habitated, as opposed to the issue is that it's a neurological from birth. We're talking about his self imposed autistic tendencies. This is learned behavior. Hey, he doesn't know how to properly integrate. He just goes off in motor mouth mode, okay? How he could possibly know this universal declaration. We'll give it one chance and that'll be it. How could you possibly know and instantiate? I can be quiet. Now, how could you possibly instantiate with necessity this universal it's a logical necessity you have that's... an answer to it yes yes don't over talk me no no logic I'm trying to answer logic Kiddo. logic Kiddo, does not logic date concrete relate you gotta let okay. me finish the sentence before you respond I, I, Kiddo. if you're afraid of me tell me okay you, you want to interrupt like that's fine but how, do, how does finish. okay do you know this do you know this universal state of affairs by your virtue of pure reason by induction well, through by your necessity. perception or a combination of the two by necessity and and how do you know what what's how do you know what's necessary uh because if you're talking about a class of all existing things and you want to know what instantiates the entire class of all existing things themselves is what instantiates it so you know how you think that god is is what is is what is is what is, ne is what is necessary necessary i say what I don't know what that means. I don't know what you mean by that. Say means that a thing possesses a satiety, meaning it is derivative and unconditionally non uh, No, so a satiety isn't a When you property. say something is necessary, are you saying are you saying that the the plurality of all things are individually in and of themselves are necessary, or is there something no. that concretely unifies the particulars that's necessary? Neither and of those is everything. Necessary. Is that an abstraction? Can, is can everything a, a concrete a one or an abstract one? No, I want to know is how do you know what is well, I universal? Have to answer. I heard your question. Well, I need to answer, right? That's kind do of... you know it by pure? All I want to know is do you know it by pure reason? No, it's true by necessity. If you talk about a class of all reality. No, sir, listen, ki listen. Kid, kid, I just answered. Focus. Do no, you, you gotta know let me finish, kid? You got to let me finish, declaration. You got to let me finish the okay, answer okay. before you listen, interrupt. Listen, kiddo. listen, okay, listen, 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 like... care listen, kid, listen carefully. Don't kid, call kid, me I've been kiddo listening to you the whole I'm time. old enough I need to be a chance to answer okay. the gibberish. All saying. right. Okay, you, you can fuck off. You want to call me kiddo, moron, you autistic punk. I'm old enough to be your father, kiddo. Okay, so we tried we tried third time. Okay, and you won't give up your habitated autistic tendencies. This this is why it's impossible to talk with you. Okay, he just gets in bullshit mode, and then when you try to parse it out, he just goes into further bullshit mode. So it is a it's hopeless so far to talk with this guy. Everything dictates everything. Well, why? Because it's necessary. How do you know that? Logic. I mean, I mean. Can anybody make sense of that? Yeah, it seems intuitively obvious. Well, yeah. Well, he. It sounded to me like he was. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. How do? Who said it's it's intuitively obvious? Uh, I said that. Who? Me. Atheism plus. Okay. How is it intuitively uh, uh Your connection is kind of cutting out right now. Darling. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Unfortunately, I'm out that you are a troll. Okay. Now we can't hear you, dude. <laughs> this is a god. Did you ever go? Did you ever go by the name Debate God? Darth, you're cutting up. Uh, no.
Uh, no, nah, bro. Okay, okay, so you're lying. Okay, so guess what, everybody? Oh, the what, guy's what? a liar and he's a troll. Listen, I wrote oh, a note down you. in your account. No, we can't hear you. All right, can you hear me now? No. Yeah, these guys are trolling. <laughs> Oh, okay, good. Then I'll just... Okay, no, we're not trolling. You're literally... No, your you're connection is out. bad. You're cutting, oh, it's, 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 he's uh, actually uh, cutting out. <laughs> Parakeet, is that... Oh, God. You are cutting you out. Cut out you right there. Cutting yeah, cutting Darth, out. you're cutting out. Seconds. Out right now. Okay, I am... I want... If, if I see anybody talking on microphone, you're going to get server muted. Better yet, I'll ban you from the room. Um, so, Atheist Plus, okay? Yes, hello. If you if you if you lie to me, you're going to lose the opportunity to talk. Did you ever go by the name of Billy Conforto? That is my name. Yeah. Do you ever use the name Debate God as your username? Yes. Okay. Why did you say a minute ago that that wasn't you? I didn't hear you say that. But yeah, 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 you, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you did. You denied it when I asked you. You were cutting okay. out. It sounded now, like you said something. Now, else. now, now, listen. Just so when I drop the hammer, so everybody knows, uh, a hard-hearted guy, I wrote a note to myself because he trolled before to such an extent to mute him on site. Oh, daddy. So, I, so I'm not even following my own instructions to myself. So, But I want to do this to expose uh, this, this white nighter for fake it till you make it T-jump. I have Dark how Dawkins it, muted how, on my end, so I okay, guess I won the debate. Uh, okay. How is it intuitively obvious that everything dictates everything? Oh, um, well, the way things are intuitively obvious is you reflect on them, and they seem no, no, obvious. no, no. You're not, you're not, you're not addressing the question. Okay, is the statement "everything dictates everything" not informative? This is informative as saying uh, God okay. dictates does, God. Does an, does an abstraction <laughs> dictate all of the discrete members of the set? It's not an abstraction. It, everything is not an abstraction? Of course not. It, okay, is everything a set? Well, what, yeah. Is that an abstraction? Uh, oh well, a set is a way of talking about everything. No, no. You might it, okay, listen, abstract. listen to me carefully. Is a set an abstraction, where it is a mental conceptualization, a grouping of discrete particulars that are not concretely unified? Everything is not a set. Okay, and the question is: Everything? If I say everything that exists, okay is a natured entity is the term everything concrete or is an abstraction attempting to collectivize within my mind all your concrete address. particulars okay everything is, 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 ev is everything an abstraction everything can include both concrete and abstract listen li li listen listen to me so no the answer is I, no. I wrote to suit you on mic on site. Yo, I have some lip is, heart is ev music. Is ev no. everything is heart music. Music. The answer is okay. no. Okay, so everything is not a, a, a set, an abstract set. No. Oh, okay, so then what does everything concretely refer to? What what one concrete thing does everything refer to? Everything presumably refers to everything in reality, which could include both. Okay, yeah, uh, you're, you're a guy. Okay, concrete yeah, entities. yeah. And there's nothing you, wrong you, with that. Answer. Yeah, yeah. You must be. You must be. You must be T Jump's homosexual <laughs> boyfriend because you're mimicking him. Um, uh, hey, this, this is this is Dark. pathetic. Hey, hey, shut up! Hey, shit. shut up! Hey, shut up! While I'm talking, Dark, can I ask okay? you a question, sir? Okay, you. you okay, now. When I when I asked when I asked him the question what dictates everything and he said reality right he was pretending like this was an informative answer but now he says it's not Wait, didn't, informative. I literally said it wasn't right? the entire time I mean an idiot. it I, I mean th this is this it's is how psychotic this guy is okay everything dictates everything okay so yeah. what do you mean like God you mean that God? Uh, okay so here's the problem when you say everything okay 
This is referring to an abstraction of two or more concrete particulars. Okay. No, it doesn't. So does if we had 10 marbles, that was everything. Okay. Do all the 10 marbles dictate what marble number four and well, marble no. number five? Well, how well, is no. that? In, how is that? No, in, how no, is no, that no. informant? Why are you over talking me? I'm trying to ask you a question and you will not ever answer. Okay. Make it quick, please. Okay. So like, who do you think you are? You're a big dickhead mother. <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. That's all you all got, right. dude. Why are these people so That's all they got. The That's this, lame, this, dude. This, this is why it is impossible to talk to fake it till you make it, T jump. Because he <laughs> when I my second encounter, well actually in the first the first one, but in the second encounter, he says the same thing. What dictates all discrete states of affairs. Well, everything does. So in other words, every single individual thing collectively, conceptually, mm -hmm. dictates what each individual discrete thing is. How could he possibly know that all concrete discrete states of affairs, every individual one of them in conjunction with every other one, all dictate what each individual concrete discrete thing is that's not the claim. Oh, like determinism this is no understanding this has nothing to do with determinism. now how how could how could he how is that even formative and how could maybe, he possibly he know it? Like, well he just bullshits know, he goes well it's necessary of logic can someone answer maybe? maybe maybe how does how does logic stand in causal relations doesn't explain well, that actually you asked him if he knows it by pure reason, and he said, no, it's necessary. So he must know that it's necessary via experience, I guess, since it's not via reason. Well, that, that, that's right. So he's by experienced pure... what's necessary. Well, 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 let me qualify that. He could say not by pure, pure reason, but by a combination of reason and induction and experience. But, I mean, this, this, is, this is how crazy this guy is, okay? You cannot talk with him like a normal person. Right, because he he goes off on these these monologues, right? <laughs> like three words. <laughs> when you say yeah, everything kind of dictates, <laughs> oh, no, but you see, but you but see my like monologue. You. Uh, gotcha, oh. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh. Thank you, gotcha. Can it be called a okay. monologue if it's less than five words before now, it interrupts? I don't, I don't know. I don't. That's, I that's guess what we're going to have to do with the founders. They're going to have to extend the duration of mutes. Okay. Wait, what happened? Uh, How about now, you don't be, be a tyrant? Be quiet. Okay. <laughs> be <a tyrant> hey, actual, <laughs> hey, go back to the woods with furries. Okay. Now I was saying. Uh, oh, that's a joke. Okay. Uh, hey, Dom, I have a question. So read, let, let's uh, go back. Like, yeah. Listen, do I real? Do I really need to type the command where everybody gets server muted? And then people only get. To, I mean, do you really want to ruin it for everybody? No. I everybody don't. mute. Everybody mute your microphone now. Can we hear you dunk on T jump? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Continue. So it's impossible to carry a conversation. He's one of the worst of the worst of individuals I've ever talked to, <laughs> next to that slob, um, Skylar Friction. <laughs> uh, Skyler, shout out to Skyler Fiction. Everything dictates a everything. A What's that? Philosophical genius. He's he has an epistemology. And his, yeah, yeah, in, yeah, in any ontology. yeah, yeah, That's yeah, yeah, yeah. His epistemology works with any ontology. Did you, did you guys? Have, did you guys ever have one? Do you ever hear that? His epistemology can work or derive from any ontology. Well, what yeah. about a world where? Everything is all events are discrete and uh, are are a causal. They're just spontaneous, right? Where each and every event is just spontaneous, and there's no correlativeness or connectedness between anything. How do you have a viable uh, working knowledge in such a world? Okay. Hey, Darth. I've been uh, reading Bonson lately. I just uh, got in a couple minutes ago, but um, yeah. Yeah. 
How about a yeah. world where there's um, where everything is completely static, where there is no events at all? Okay. What about a world where God is, and He creates the world so that man really can't know anything? Would an epistemology work in that ontology? What about a world where God uh, creates beings and agents, and He of demons, Satan, deceive everybody and everything? Would epistemology work in that ontology? Do you guys see how warped fake it till you make it is? Now let's get back to what we're talking is that here, right here. Somehow? Is can, there an objection to any? So can you explain your. You make it? I'm curious. Yeah, okay, listen to me carefully. If you speak, don't announce your name to me so I can know who wants to address me, then you will not get to speak, okay? All right? This is Oberon. May I ask a question? Dude, yes, you may. Know. Everyone, everyone else, mute your microphone. Where's everyone else, mute your microphone. Diapers, my guy. Come on. Okay. Okay. So now, okay. I only want a clarification on the fake it till you make it. That's all. I'll mute. Okay. Do we have any in here? Uh, Square, are you there? Oh, yeah, I'm here. Slap yeah, yeah. is somebody who has repeatedly engaged in harassment and stalking behavior in multiple days. I've asked him to stop it. He refused. I have muted him. I times. Okay, you need you need to take him to the woodshed. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll take okay. care of him. Wait, me? I didn't do anything. Thank you. Not you, O'Brien. Oh, okay. 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 Sorry. Okay. I want everyone to mute your microphone. Except Obron. If there's any mods in here, please server mute anyone who is an open mic. Go ahead, Obron. I was only asking for what the the fake it till you make it the term was about. That's all. That that's 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 what T jumps does. He's 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 in he is a indefatigable bullshitter. Okay. What's that? Put that on my tw tw Twitter. Profile. Indefatigable. Look it up. It means he doesn't know. It means it means unrelenting, nonstop. Okay. Hey, Darth. This now, is Nirvana. I was going to ask. On, is it okay if I invite on. Jason Lee Scott? Jason Lee, who's Jason? Oh, okay. So you you want to do that? Okay. Well, that's All right. The hey, welcome. Plays well, the Green Ranger Lord. on Power Rangers. Can somebody ask him how to spell interfatical, please? It's going to be okay, Darth. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to have to do from now on, because the trolls are ruining it, I'm going to have to lock the room down. Okay. That's simple, right? So. Guys, another chance. If this goes on today, tomorrow, then from now on, I will I will lock the room down. Okay. And that way, you're gonna you're gonna have to flash in order to uh, flash your uh, headset icon to get an invite to speak. All right. You, see, you know what's interesting? This is what they do. This is what scumbags they are. Rather, are. rather, rather than yeah, again. Okay. All right. I, I, do a, I do have an I do have an in good faith question. All right. Okay. All right. Well, I, <laughs> I have an in good faith question. It's going to be okay, Darth. It's going to be okay. Shut your mouth. Okay. Synthetic. It's going to be okay. okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. Now you are muted. Okay. Okay. Hey, Darth. It's Brando. Can I ask a question? Okay. Never mind. No, I'm going to lock. I'm, I'm going to lock the room. Oh. Wow. Yikes. No, that's ridiculous. Okay, so is the command is not lo the the uh the um command is not locking the room down square. Um is it cuz it's slow sometimes. L let's Darth, look. I do have an in good faith question if that's okay. Um how do you, in your apologetics, how do you approach? You can, you can be quiet. You can you can be quiet. Okay, oh. square. Uh, how long does it take? How long does it take to kick in? 
Uh, actually, you're right. I can see that there's some uh, error with it. it. It you're right. It's not working. Um, I have to look okay. at that. So, so the the pieces of garbage cockroaches. Okay. The room. Um, we, they won't stop. We can give them a ban from your room. Uh, well, the the problem is when I get a when I have a room this filled. Uh, if you could have some worthy moderators to come in here and kick their little asses and ban them for me from the, from the room when they're caught. I'm trying to conduct conversations, you know, rant, give give my biased point of view people. And then at the same time, I get there and I got to monitor what these assholes are doing. So if, if I get a sizable room, it would be really nice to have other moderators in here who could help me. That way I won't have to lie. I mean, I'm not complaining to you. It's not your fault. You've been very gracious with me and I appreciate that. But it's just, a, it's just annoying that I have to sit there and moderate an entire room, okay? When I, when I no other mods coming in here helping, okay? Hey, Darth, it's Brando. Can I ask my question? So, um, so is the is the command working? <laughs> what, what's the deal? Okay, I typed it in. Yeah, uh, g give it um, five seconds, because I see that there was an error in the logs that um, I just fixed. But um... by the way, I'm not I'm not complaining. It's just annoying with these little uh, ballless little punks who don't know who their daddy is. <laughs> Try to run it now. Um, I want to see if it works now. The, the D, dot dot dd. I think it should work now. Darth, you remember saying induction was always fallacious. Do you still stand by that, or do you think it's stupid now because it is really stupid? Okay, uh, it's square, definitely not working. Square. Okay, are you there, Square? Uh, I think it is working actually. Okay, Square. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I really enjoy what you guys have done for me so far. If you don't ban DE now, I'm leaving the server, okay? This is a guy who I've reported him before years ago. He's doing it again. He's violating the TOS. He's violating the terms of the service. Going to fucking go off the server, okay? <laughs> this is a guy who stalks on the internet, okay? He's got to go. He is violating the TOS and the terms of the server. He does it on every single platform. He needs to go now. Darth, you're an asshole. <laughs> Good. Okay. Well, it's one at a time. Okay. Now, let's see. Where's Oberon? He's not here. Okay. Well, I'll continue if anybody wants to. Uh... Ooh, I have. Okay. All right. Let's see. And Darth. Well. Yeah. Why? Why are they, uh, not have muted mics? <clears throat> okay. Okay, this list is too long for me to uh, monitor. I'm going to need some help, okay? So we can unmute one person at a time, okay? All right. Now I'm going to unmute Parakey because Parake, I trust him. Okay, if you if you want to if you want to ask a question, you're going to have to send me a, a a DM and get into a queue. Okay? Okay, I'm waiting. I was attending to something. 
Okay. If you want, if you want to chat with me, um, you have to send me a DM. Or a faggot. King Square. Uh, did you catch his name? No. <clears throat> I'm sure that using that word is ban worthy on this. Look, I, I think I think if I pack the room out to such an extent that we, we, we could have other mods, okay, who could help out um, and unmute one person at a time if they're flashing and they want to ask a question. Okay. Rather than me have to scan the whole room. Yeah. I think I think that Arnold guy wants to get a shot. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Go ahead, Arnold. Hey, um oh, can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, um I I wanted to ask you because I've been here uh for a while now just trying to listen to you reason to all these atheists and agnostics and I mean, to be honest, it's kind of like pulling teeth. You know, you try to reason and ask uh, clear, concise questions, and they just don't want to do it. But um, I've been reading Bonson lately, reading uh, about presuppositional apologetics, and his argument seems pretty sound. But I want to ask you, uh, Darth, about bon Bonson. Do you <clears> think Greg Bonson had a big penis? <laughs> Called it. Okay. Called it. Are we gonna, what are you going to do about this, Square? Are you going to tolerate this? Uh, Arnold? I think if All somebody right. does something like this, you should ban them from the server. Why should why should we put up with this? Okay. I think this the is the question is that okay, he's uh, got a fool a fool putting his foolishness on display. People keep entering the room and they're not what is it only muting people who are here presently um so the way the command works is um it'll mute everyone in the room but if uh if new people join the room afterwards it it won't mute them it so do i have to retype the command um i do have a Maybe. serious a question about your approach to apologetics uh, do you do you differentiate between atheists and agnostics? And if so, like how so? What's your username? Mine? Okay, hold on, Oberon. Oberon, yeah. I mean, my question's okay. in good faith. I'm not. Oberon. I'm sorry? Go ahead, Oberon. Oh, no, I was just curious about... <clears throat> I'm not hearing. Um... Wait, can you hear me? Uh, you were hmm? breaking up. You're breaking up. Okay, am I clear now? Go ahead. Okay. I'm just curious if in your apologetics there's a difference between atheists or agnostics, or if they are the same? That's all I'm asking. Well, the outward claim is different, but the internal content is the same. It's either going to be a direct or an indirect denial of God. Okay. okay. Agnosticism That's is an implicit denial of God, not the individual is aware of it. We can take by what they do affirm entails that, that god doesn't exist perspective okay okay yeah that, that, that was always my struggle sort of with um any sort of conversation about this was like even i love christopher hitchens like and, and a lot of his oration but i feel like he was Why? a strong Why? Why? he wasn't a good debater he was a good orator you're not wrong 
<laughs> he was a good he was a good debater, but not against presuppositionalists. You're you're not wrong. Wait I think wait, that... wait 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 a minute. He said extraordinary evidence requires extraordinary claims. Do you agree? <laughs> <with that? laughs> nice the, try. The, nice uh, try. Uh, the switched around. Yes, um, but that that's what he said. But but you agree um, with him? Yes. Sure. Okay, but I don't so, agree with his anti-theist claims. I think he was a staunch. That's fine. That, that's fine. You know what I mean? That's fine. But you agree? I, you agree with the maxim: extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Is the God world an extraordinary claim? Yes. The the Christian God, the Abrahamic God. Did, did, well, hold on a second. Did I say that? No, okay. you didn't. No, no, that's what he was when, referencing. When, when, when so we, I'm when not we're sure. talking about. What we're talking about God, okay, yeah. in these kinds of conversations, yeah. although I only defend the Christian God, but when I'm talking with other people, yeah. okay, we're, we're starting with the concept of God as the leader, regardless of whatever flavor of God we're going to talk about later. Yes. Okay. Now, when I say the God world, I'm just simply saying where what is eternal and unconditionally non-dependent that creates and sustains the world, the creator-creature distinction. We call that the God world. Now, right. do you believe that the statement extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence is applicable to that? I don't know. Well, then what does extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence referring to? <clears throat> Is it I referring was, to is it referring to Bigfoot? I I was under the understanding that it was re, like uh, the Abrahamic God that he was referring it's, to. It's referring to God. Yes. Any any God concept. Okay. Right. That, that I'm I have not ascribed myself to Chris Hitchens's. I did bring him up, and I said I sir, like his sir, oration. Why are, but, why are you? Do you accept extraordinary claims? Yes or no? <laughs> uh, I think it's not in the way Chris Hitchens attributed it. I guess. Did I? Did how did he attribute it? Did he? Did he attribute it to the God world? Did he? Did he? That's what I'm saying. I think he attributed it to the Abrahamic did, God. Did, no, no, he I was could an be wrong. atheist. I could be wrong. No, he was an atheist. I he think he was an anti-theist. The... He hated gods. Wow, he hated. Wow, and I, I'm wow not that. dude, dude. Really? I'm not. I'm not. Yes, really. Like I'm not being. No, no, facetious. no. He wasn't. He wasn't merely anti-Abrahamic gods. He okay. was. He was a. He was a standard atheist. He didn't believe that there was any god. Okay, so when he okay. said extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, he was yes. applying that to the God world. This is not debatable. Okay, okay. Now, do you agree that if somebody puts forth the God world as being actual, that that is an extraordinary claim? I, we should have resolved this 15 minutes ago. Okay. Do you believe that that's an extraordinary claim requiring extraordinary evidence? Yes. Okay. Now, is the not God world an extraordinary claim? What is the claim in that claim? I'm sorry. It's the negation of the God world. And that would be to say... Is the God world an extraordinary claim? Yes. Is the God world an extraordinary claim? If it is just the lack of the claim that is prior? No, sir, no. sir, sir. What? The negation of the proposition is it to a universal declaration. The God okay. world is a universal declaration. Is the not God world a universal declaration? With the first one, um, y yeah, I guess. Hold on a second. Have you ever taken any courses in higher education? Oh, too many. Okay. Were you this obtuse with your professors? Um, actually, no. I think that making have a positive you, have, claim. Have you have you have you recently fallen and hit your head? <laughs> um, I wasn't I wasn't dropped as a kid, but I was thrown against a wall. 
I'm just, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not obtuse. Seriously, I'm not. Okay, good. Then these questions are no brainers. The negation yeah. of the proposition. If, the, if, 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 if I make a universal declaration, and that's an extraordinary claim, and if I negate that, that too is a universal uh, proposition. Okay, there's no neutrality or substantial. Sir, yeah, yeah. Focus. Okay. Okay. If you say God is, is that an extraordinary claim? Absolutely. If you say God is not, is that an extraordinary claim? Absolutely, yes. Okay. Now, do you hold to the not God world? No, I do not. Okay. Christopher Hitchens said that uh, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Did he ever in his uh, uh, polemic writings or oratory or debates, did he ever provide, provide extraordinary evidence for his extraordinary claim of the not God world? He did not. No, he did not. So like all a burn the proof fallacy. Uh -oh. so that's what I wanted to talk with you about at the beginning of this was I I admonish him for being such a staunch anti theist rather than that's agnostic. Not, that's that's not what we're talking about. Anti theism okay, okay. anti theism has to do with hostility toward the proclamation and advocacy of God. Okay. Yeah. That's what I felt anti Chris had. An yeah. No, no, he was both a a and an anti-theist. I see. Okay. Anti-theism with your disposition of hostility toward the advocacy of God. Okay. Thing as denying existence of God. There are many atheists who are not anti-theists. Okay? Like me, or I, I consider myself agnostic, but regardless, or I'm not. Rejecting well, the notion okay. of God, yeah. Uh, well, you you most certainly are. Okay. If I say, okay, let me walk you through this. Okay. When we talk about God, we're talking about that which is eternal in mind and the creator of all things that are not Himself, definitionally. So God is defined as the necessary singular precondition of all things that are not Himself. Is that definition acceptable to you? As real? No. No, I didn't Bone. say that. Bone. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. As God, yes. Okay, yes, absolutely. I'm just giving, tell you that Darth Vader is a Sith Lord. Yeah. Is that an no, acceptable I, I definition? No, I understand. Good. Absolutely. So, so yeah. God is the creator of all things that are not himself, which means he's the necessary yes. precondition of all things that are not himself. Yes. Correct. So God, God by definition is necessary and the necessary precondition right sure. definition yeah. okay now if somebody comes along and says god is not necessary do you understand that that is the equivalent of saying god doesn't exist sure absolutely good no, you invoke not. facts do you invoke facts without the necessity of referencing god you can define god differently totally Totally logically possible. It doesn't need to be necessary. Depends on the... F yeah, actually... When do, you yes. invoke facts... Okay, good. So when you invoke facts, God is not necessary when you invoke facts, right? Correct. Right. Well, you have denied God, sir, because you, you, you are saying <laughs> these facts exist stand alone and God's not necessary. That doesn't, that doesn't follow. If you say doesn't God's follow. not necessary... Directly or indirectly, explicitly or implicitly, you have denied God. You're Whether you realize God, it or not. Absolutely. You're exactly right. 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 Well, we're talking about a minimal definition of God. That's not exactly minimal, but sure. That God, is like a deistic view, right? God, God, you're no. you're gonna quibble God. over the concept of God what? as supreme being and creator as a People definition. People have been quibbling for centuries about the millennia about the, the definition of God, and I'm being sure, extremely sure, careful. Sure. Right now. Correct. Sir, correct. Do you positively believe that there is a supreme being and creator of all things that are not himself that we call God? Do you believe in that? I don't know. Ask you what you know. I said, do you believe it? <laughs> I don't know. 
I didn't ask you what you know. I asked you, do you believe it? When I was baptized at 12, I did believe it. Okay, uh, okay. Good and that's not, a, that's not good a troll, answer. Darth. Come on. I'm being serious up, with you. Straight up legit. It's a I legit don't answer. know. Do you have a positive belief in God as defined? No. I didn't hear you. I said no. I await affirmation. All right. No, my Wi Fi's dropping out. <clears throat> or Maybe the word is confirmation. Okay, I right. await confirmation, okay, whatever the word right. is. Okay, li okay, li listen. Okay, so my Wi Fi's back up. Um, okay. Do you positively believe that God as defined is? Do you positively believe that? I don't know. I didn't ask you if you know. Do you positively believe it? <laughs> you, can be, you, can, you can be like, knowing, I don't know is totally fine. A knowledge, a knowledge is a term that we for beliefs for, for which we have great warrant and justification rather than lesser. For certain beliefs of deism where there is no warrant or justification. Sure. Positive right, like, so attitude. Do sorry, you ahead. have a ahead, positive sorry. attitude? All right. We're, no, we're, we're done. You're wait, you're wait, wait, you're wait, wait. In, you're you're incapable of carrying on an adult conversation. Okay, uh, if anyone wants to talk with me, send me a DM. Okay, or flash your icon. I'll scroll up and down. Let me just mute everybody. All right, I'm not, not flashing. So then I'll just continue with T, jump the shark, fake it. Like, okay. So where did we leave off? Okay. So he's the master of double talk, obfuscation, <laughs> prevarication, and, and monologuing. So originally when I asked him the question, he was portending that this was an informative response. Now we tell us it's not an informative response, okay? So he's giving me a non-informative answer to the question. But not, he nonetheless says is that every, does that mean the set of all discrete things collectively dictate each and every discrete thing? Or does it does it mean that each member within the set, it dictates itself in that they possess. Well, either way, and by the way, he would be better off with the rather than the former. But either way, how could he possibly know it through logic because it's necessary? How do you know that anything's necessary? Unless God is and he creates a world, and he constructs the world to enable to, to enable us to know that at least one or more things is necessary, or that he's necessary and everything derives from him. How could you, by simply a mere appeal to logic or abstraction, that um, something is necessary? This is why we call it "fake it till you make." Uh, go ahead, uh, Sudo. Were you flashing your microphone? Yes. Oh, now I can see my stuff on deaf end. I'm not sure if you can hear me. Yeah, your microphone's awful. Fix your microphone. Okay, I will leave and video. Uh, I have a question. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. Hold, hold on a second. So, Universe said to me. What do you mean by a natured entity? Well, I'm talking about a concrete object as opposed to an abstract object, okay? That that the natured entity is a concrete object with one or more attributes, okay? As opposed to a abstraction. on the wrong screen here. Looking for some atheists to have uh, not low testosterone to explain why it's reasonable. 
RAM. Okay. All right. If you want to talk, send me a DM or flash your uh, icon on the screen. Look at that. 76 people in here. Okay. Well, I should count that number high because we have a couple of people that are on the ban list because they're scumbags and they're just so blatantly deceitful. Okay. Okay, so getting back to fake it to you, Mr. Fake it till you make it. How could he possibly know what's necessary? How could you know that through logic? Where do you where do you get this uniform? Logic describes right? reality. That's how. Not not super complicated. Watch. Let, let's try this one more time. We'll show you what a clown we're dealing with. Uh, Mr. Fake it till you make it. Do you still stand that your epistemology can work with in and with any ontology? Um, sure. If you define work as in it can be applied. Yes. No, in, you in knowledge. You did it more than once. I heard it. Other people heard it. You said your epistemology can work. work any ontology do you recall yes because that's in the context of idealism dualism or epistemology is it is it, it your epistemology <clears throat> would it be applicable or functional in a world where god exists and he creates a world where man cannot know anything yes how could you know something if god purposed that we couldn't know something an epistemology isn't knowing anything An epistemology is a method Epistemology is the theory of knowledge. Right, and the theory of knowledge can work whether could, or not you know anything. Could there be a okay? Could there be a knowledge, conceptual or practical otherwise, if God created a world where that couldn't exist? Uh, n no, but that wasn't your claim. Okay, stop right there. Is is that an ontology? No. Yes, it is. You see what a fucking liar you are. You no, don't have to I'm believe correct. that it's You're real. Incorrect. Listen, no, 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 sir. Yes, uh, yes, sir. Ontology will be a putative. Um, it's not putative. No, you need to learn what that word means. Uh, the nature of being a putative stated not, not as putative. though it's the case. Okay. So no. ontology would be okay yeah get out of here you're such a you're so afraid oh of me gosh, you can't even let me you're, finish you're, no i'm not afraid you. you're just unsufferable so afraid, me. so afraid i mean there's only hu home, how much human patience oh, i can fuck, have Stop being such a bitch bro okay no i'm not I'm not a bitch I, I, I can't deal, deal, deal with a fake it immediately wrecked he actually he actually just said okay so he actually he actually said that you could have a theory of knowledge in an ontology where god exists where God purposes that there couldn't be a working theory of knowledge or its applicability. But then he says that a concept of where God is and he creates a world, that that's not an ontology. That's not a... Does everybody see how psychotic this is? You don't have to believe that the putative ontology is real. Okay? He says it could work with any onto uh, ontology. Well, when it means any, it means any putative ontology, okay? Because there only can be one composite worldview or ontology that's actual. But he says his theory of knowledge works with any ontology. That's how abstract objects work. They literally really? work at all possible So worlds. it can work in an ontology yeah. where God creates a world where man cannot know anything including a theory of knowledge how would yes. uh, his epistemology function in that world where it's prohibited by god in that ontology if Th theories of knowledge don't require okay. that you know them like that's that's how you got you got to love it parakeet fake it till you make it was was just spot on okay old rabbit uh, go ahead sir hello um, so how can we posit a mind that's spaceless and timeless if uh, all okay. instances of minds are in space and time? Thanks. Okay, I don't, I don't hold, I don't hold to God, sir. 
would you would you like to argue that that to be plausible or reasonable that he would have to be posited as timeless sorry yeah i don't hold to the timelessness of god i used to i don't anymore oh okay all good yeah i now hold to the uh that the identification view of time that time is identified with a natured entity that is the ontological grounds of one or more moments and that natured entity is god himself life of god represents the first moment then when he wills it, he he wills into existence subsequent moments okay a lot of people have the relational view of time that time is a relation between events okay or it's a relation between a cause and, a, and an effect okay that view has has a problem because then the the first prior to the the second state would be in a timeless condition because there would be no relation okay so if people say that uh, causation requires time how would the first state create in a timeless state okay okay thank you welcome challenge the existence of god or the christian god just flash your microphone we'll bring you on and as long as you disagree like a mature adult and just don't blather on like fake it till you make it you know what was the max words i got to i think like six before you came interrupted and muted no does that count as blathering is that a monologue So here's the deal with fake it till you make it. Um, he, he, he wants to claim that he knows what's ultimate. Well, what's ultimate, but wait a minute. A plurality of things cannot be ultimate. Sure okay? can. Because an abstraction can't stand in causal relations. Things so if you have two or more things, things be an abstraction. The abstraction that are I say, you're an idiot. Or, or are self-contained and absolute, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, then if you have two or more things that are absolute, they're, then they're discrete from each other, independent, then neither one of them can be all. If you group them together, an abstraction cannot stand in calls or relations. So they, they would have to be concretely unified by something. And you would then have to say that whatever the natured entity that is the concrete unit unifier in conjunction with the two or more absolute uh, would then impose what what is. But the no. question is, how could he even know that? Existence so isn't the property. We're trying to take the cosmos, the universe, reality, the set of all real things, and so that it excludes where God is no longer indispensable. He's no longer. Um, What's the word? I'm, I'm looking tired. What was it? Um, um, exclusive and indispensable. That's it, right? So, but you see, an abstraction, which would be a set, cannot be ultimate, right? So, when he says everything dictates everything, how does an abstraction is God um, a set? The set. Of yes, course. is God. Does ultimate? an abstraction? Yes. Oh, a set can be ultimate, idiot. And how could he know? Well, what, what does he say? Well, logic dictates it's necessary. Well, what logic? Logic is a description. Now, idiot. he's in an open system. How does he know what is singularly fundamental and absolute? Well, you the answer is he doesn't it. because he says there's a plurality of states, but it's a group that does it together. But the group is an abstraction because the group itself is not cr concrete. Only the individual members are concrete the label of the anyway group i could go on it just makes my head want to explode the stupidity that we hear but fake it till you make it okay anyone want to raise your hands let's see you you got to flash your uh headset if you want to talk 
Okay, go ahead, sir. At the bottom, darned. Go ahead, darned. Go ahead, shy. Go ahead, shy. All right, you're back on mute. Go ahead, Sue. Um, Go ahead. You said earlier that I was assuming that God did not exist. So my first question is, are you assuming that God yeah, Back exists? off your or microphone. You're too close to your mic source. Uh, sorry. Uh, is this better? Uh, okay, I'm assuming this is better. Uh, are you assuming that God exists or are you... Uh, coming from a neutral assumption of we don't know if God exists. Yeah, now you're a little too weak. Uh, That's better. Go ahead. This, okay. Yeah. Are you assuming that God exists or are you coming from a neutral perspective of we don't am know? I, am, I assuming, uh, am I assuming God exists? Well, what do you mean by assume? Um, in the same way that okay. you said earlier that I assume God doesn't No, I am I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming <laughs> the God's self-disclosure of himself. Hold on a second, I gotta switch my headset. Go ahead. Yeah, you said you are assuming God's uh, self-disclosure of himself. I don't use the word assume. I accept uh, God through creation. Okay, but how is that different from saying that I accept the... Yeah, yeah I'm having trouble. Go ahead, trying to understand you. I'm sorry, uh, how is that different from saying that I accept the universe without God? How it's uh, how I, I mean, can't understand normally, you. Yeah, I can, only, I, can, I can only understand part of what you say. Okay, um, one more try. Normally, uh, the assumption would be that you would uh, assume that, the, or you would, you would need more evidence for the positive claims than the negative. What, what, when, you say, when you say assumption, do you mean accepting something without warrant or basis? I mean accepting something by default, without as a default position before looking at evidence. What do we assume? If there is no, no, well, I don't. I don't hold in the Christian world that be even our immediate self. Once we reach a certain level of logical um, development. Well, that self-consciousness, in order to, for it to be a natured entity, will either have to indicate God or, or not. If it indicates God, then that natured entity, which is our uh, self-consciousness, can be instantiated as, as being a concrete object. But if you don't do that, then your self-consciousness, what, what would it mean? What would dictate what it is? Well, the answer is there won't be anything unless you want to fake it till you make it like T-Jump, where you just bullshit your way along. I guess what I don't understand is how what you are doing is different. Uh, because you can't... Uh, I, to me, it sounds like you're saying just... Like, I'm really having trouble understanding you because of your mic and your accent. I'm sorry. Um, I, I, that, yeah, I, I know it's not your fault. I, look, I got Apple EarPod Pros. The sound quality is phenomenal on these things. Okay. Um, well, if you don't understand me, uh, maybe you want to take another question. Just try, try again. 
to speak a little slower. Okay. Um, so to me, it, it sounds like you are assuming uh, that God exists as the sort of starting point. I, I, am, I am accepting and adopting that God exists because of the, the things that I come into contact with are revelatory and indicative of God by his purpose. And I can know this because they are actual things, okay? Because it would be the mind of God would be that which instantiates them as being a natured entity. The opposite or the rejection of that would be nothing would be, would it, the, these things, natured entities, are self-consciousness, the tree outside your window, wouldn't be revelatory indicative of anything as to why it exists, either externally or internally, would be a brute fact. It would be unintelligible. There's nothing that dictates words. The object that the alleged object in question is not indicative of why it exists internally or ex externally. It's meaningless. It would exist because of the events that caused it to exist. It would exist. Okay, okay. Let me ask you this question. The tree outside your window, the rock mm -hmm. on the side of the road, do you accept that they, um, by necessity, indicate and reveal God by his purpose? Accept that? No. Okay. Now, in the God world, things will possess actuality as concrete objects or a natured entity because they derive from the mind of god god imposes and sustains what they are and the actuality and intelligibility comes from the mind of god making it what it is so in that framework scenario things are only what they are and possibility of any kind virtue of deriving and depending upon the mind of God. So if the rock on the side of the road is not indicative of revelatory of God, okay, then you're going to be taking the position that they possess actuality and intelligibility in virtue of either themselves or itself or in virtue of something that is ultimate or the eternal. Do you understand your option there? I would say that as we perceive them, they are intelligent. No, do you, want, do you want, listen to me? If you don't accept that they reveal God because they couldn't, because in order to be a nature entity, God would have to impose it. If you reject that notion, then you're going to have to explain how it is a natured entity, either, and, and it has accompanying intelligibility, either in virtue of itself or in something external to it that is ultimate so you what we have is here a dichotomous situation either you will reckon that the facts are creaturely they they were they indicate and reveal god by his purpose and hence they're creaturely and they could only possess ontology and intelligibility because they derive from the mind of god and god creates them and makes them to reveal him it, or you don't accept that now, if you don't accept that, if, since you don't accept that, explain to me what provides for the actuality of what anything is of the rock. Is it because the rock is is the rock eternal? No, the rock is not eternal. Uh... Okay, okay. So the rock can't explain itself. So the rock's uh, ontology, the rock's natured entity, is derivative. Then, right? I mean, as we express it, as, or as we, as either either the rock's actuality is non-derivative or derivative, right? Well, the rock, as as the preceding. Look, look, I asked you a yes or no question. Either the rock's actuality is in virtue of itself alone, or the rock's actuality is derivative. I mean, do you accept? Do you, you accept that? Do you accept that? I don't really accept that. Uh, I would say that yes, there is something. Okay, good. That... So then, so then, so then, the rock, 
Honest for no identifiable reason internally or externally. Is that your position? No, the rock is there because of the events that brought the rock there. It is there because the rock is there be because I'm sorry. is the rock does the rock is it self contained, absolute, and unconditionally non dependent? Not as we perceive it. As we perceive it, it is dependent on our mind. Uh, and All right, I can't. I, I'm sorry. We, we're gonna have to. I can I can barely understand you. Okay. Uh, Plus, you're not properly responding to my question, so we're just gonna have to move on. I'm uh, next. No, I'm. You know, I'm sorry. It's. It's just. It's. Want to end the accent? I. You know. I don't mean any disrespect to you. Okay. Because you've you've been very cordial, and I appreciate that. I understand. Thank you. I only I only insult people when they have it coming. Okay, so do we have any unbelievers who would like to explain why it's reasonable not to believe in God? Wow. Look at that. Not one. Look at that. Not bad. <laughs> if you mute them Brandon. all, apparently they aren't. Any. Okay, go ahead, sir. Brandon? This is from the highest week. You can see me as I ask me. I've never been a college by. That person needs to lay off the drugs. Go ahead, misanthropic person. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, okay, so why is reasonable believing God? Well, because it's the default position of yeah, basically. Back, back, back. It's overly modulated. Sorry? Off your microphone a bit. Sorry, you keep cutting out. Much better. Thank you. Go ahead. It's reasonable to believe in God because it's the default position. Most people are not born believing in God. You, you are taught to believe in God. Um, I'm not understanding your point. Well, I mean, you're, you're presupposing I have to. Uh, no, no, I asked you a question. Against... What, what was my question, sir? Why is it reasonable to not believe in God? That's correct. I just explained it to you. That did. That, that was just a mess. It made perfect sense. It's not the default. Okay, position. let's let's I rephrase mean, I it think for you. you have more. I, uh, let's rephrase it so that you can understand it. In your view, God does not exist because? Because that's how reality is. Boom! Love it! That's how everything is. So reality. The set of all real things There are two possibilities. Hold God on, may, exists I, may I finish? Okay, listen to me. You said that's the way it is. Well, what if I were to say to you, uh, well, God is because that's just the way it is. Would you accept that? I'd say you'd have to provide an argument for that. And do you have to provide an argument for your position? Mm, well, it's simpler to say there is no God than there is a God. Why is that simpler? Um, because a God, you'd have to explain all of these other things about the origin okay. of the universe. Okay, what so, role does okay, God so have? one second. So are, are you employing Occam's razor? I mean, yeah. Okay, so what you're saying is is that when we have two equally explanatory hypotheses, the one that has fewer assumptions is to be preferred? Yeah. Okay, so do you consider the world and the not God world equally have equal explanatory power? No. Well, then you can't apply Occam's razor then. Why not? 
because Occam's razor has to do with uh, a two hypotheses that have equal explanatory power. It's a heuristic de device, uh, no, a type of that's incorrect. That, that, that when you have two equally uh, explanatory hypotheses, the one that has fewer assumptions is preferred. It doesn't necessitate that it's true. This is just a, a principle, a rule of thumb. It's a heuristic device. Heuristic it's not is how determinative. You that, it's not determinative. Well, okay. how, how do you determine the likelihood of if God exists or not? It's well, well, first of all, I'll be glad to discuss that with you momentarily. I don't know if you've heard me give my rationale for God, which I will. But your mission, should you choose to do it, Mr. Phelps, is to explain to me why it's reasonable to believe that God does not exist. So, so far, when you deployed Occam's Fizzer, it doesn't apply. I'd say it's now, just as reasonable to believe that as okay, if listen, listen to me. The, all we're going to get to deploy Occam's Razor is to say that the God and the not God world have mandatory power, but that one of them has fewer assumptions and is preferred. Is that your position? I, well, I don't know exactly what definition of Occam's Razor you just provided me if that's accurate. Occam's or not. Razor is that when you have. Two explanatory He's correct. That is not hypothesis. the correct definition. Two equally equal explanatory? explanatory? Equally explanatory, yeah. Why is that necessary? Why is, is one as simple? That that's, that, 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 that's Occam's razor. No, it's not. How do you because, know if it's because, equally well, explanatory? Well, well I'll, I'll, t I'll tell you why. Because you could have two hypotheses. One is simpler, one is more complex. But the complex one yes, could have Yes, but isn't greater. this a false dichotomy? Okay, hold, hold on a second. Was I just explaining something to you? Yeah, you were. Well, did I finish? Uh, no, I was just giving commentary. Okay. If if one of them, if if greater explanatory power, then Occam's razor doesn't apply. Okay. Yeah, it does. Parsimony applies when you have two hypotheses that have equal explanatory power. Now, would you like to say that the God world or the not God world have equal explanatory power and then apply Occam's razor to that? Yes. Okay. Now, how does naturalism or, or world, how is it co? Okay. How is it coherent? In order for it to have explanatory power, it must have coherence. Nope. So is, is there some? Well, because what you have, you have a plurality of things, none of which are can, as being concretely unified, and the, the actual particulars themselves are brute. There's they, there's nothing that is identified either internally or externally, as to why they exist. And if all the particulars are brute, they don't mean anything. So nope. how does the no, set works. of all particulars, each of which that don't mean anything, because there's nothing identifiable or defensible that dictates externally or internally what they are, it has zero auditory power. Okay? So in your naturalism, is it a set of a, a, an almost innumerable number of particulars. What particulars? What do you mean? Yeah. Are there two or more concrete things that just simply exist without deriving from God? Yes. Now, these two or more things, why do each of the discrete states exist? Do they exist because they're absolute within themselves, or they derive ultimately absolute? I don't need to answer that question. I think that's an unknowable yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah. No, no, you do need to answer the question, because if you're going to say that the, the group, the set of the members of the plurality are intelligible, then intelligibility is going to be derived by each of the, of the, of the parts being intelligible junction with each other. If each member of the set is unintelligible, 
how is the grouping of the set of unintelligible parts going to be intelligible? Because they're all unified on under one thing, and that's reality. What? What? Okay, no, that would be an abstraction. Okay, abstractions do not stand in causal relations. Is there something that concretely unifies the particulars? Yes. What is that? Reality. The fundamental nature of the universe. No, yeah, yeah. You, look, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> what? Okay. Is that one concrete thing? Yeah. What is it? What is that? Quantum field. The fundamental nature of the universe. Well, yeah. What is that? Is the it's... fundamental nature of the, is the fundamental nature of the universe God? No. Maybe you don't know that. No, 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 no. Oh, so. So, so then you don't know what the fundamental nature of the universe is, do you? Yes, neither do you. And how do you know that? Because it's unknowable. Okay, and so you know you know that it's knowable. Quantum um, fields. Yes. Okay. Quantum I mean, fields. Do you have it? Are you? Do you have any awareness of how convoluted what you're saying is? If you say it's unknowable, okay, is that a knowledge statement? Yes. Okay. How do you know it's unknowable? Because there's no way to measure anything related to it. What does that even mean? It means I mean, you can't know if it's true or not. Yeah. I, I, okay. What you're saying is, I can't know if it's true or not. So what you're saying is, things around you are indeterminate in terms what are all the things around you and me indeterminate relative to god maybe no you said it's unknowable either all the things around of us are determinative and indicate because it's god unknowable or doesn't mean it's okay all right, all right all right listen to me i don't want to be mean to you you simply don't know what you're talking you're faking it till you make it. Are you are you related to uh, fake it till you make it? T jump. No. Okay. All right. Do you, do you aspire to be like him someday? Uh, no, I don't really know that much about him. Oh, okay. So, but you're faking it till you make it. Okay. All right. So we're we're gonna move on because I don't want to be mean to you. Okay. All right. All right. Do we have any intelligent atheists or unbelievers who would like to? defend that unbelief in God reasonable. You want to do it, you have to continue flashing your headset, okay, for me to see it. All right, go ahead, agnostic. Can you hear me? Yep. <laughs> So, do you believe the statement that God exists to be a propositional thing? Sure. The statement is truth aft, correct? I didn't hear you. The statement that God exists is truth apt, right? I think it's true, yeah. True apt. Can you prove that to me? Can I prove to it? Yeah. Um, God exists because the world uh, reveals him. Otherwise, the world wouldn't mean anything. How do you know the world reveals him? Excuse me? How do you know the world reveals him? Um, because these are, are natured entities or, or, or uh, concrete things that will either be indicative and reveal God by his purpose or not. If they reveal God um by by his purpose then they would be concrete objects or natured entities mind and therefore we could have uh apprehension of its actuality and intelligibility right now if you reject that I'm notion that for me. It, I, I yeah either either the rock outside and the tree outside Either it is ind indicative and revelatory of God by his purpose in some way that he purposed and planned, 
Okay. Or it does not. If they do God, then they possess their activity and intelligibility derivative of the mind of God. So it would be the mind of God that institutes its actuality and intelligibility. If you reject that notion, okay, then what you're going to have are uh, alleged uh, concrete entities that cannot be explain themselves either internally or externally. So it's a reductive. Okay. Do you, know, you know what a reductio is? Yeah. Okay. So you don't believe that the rock or anything else of God and revelatory of God purpose, right? So do you believe then that the rock is indicative and revelatory of something else that's ultimate that's not God? Yes. What would that be? The physical constant, as well as the laws of logic. Okay, do laws of logic stand in causal relations? I don't know what that means. Okay, do you don't know you don't know what cause and effect is? I know what that means, but I don't know what the statement you just said means. Do do laws of logic produce cause and effect sequences? No, they determine what happens. No, no, uh, that you just contradicted yourself. You said no, but they determine what happens. You just contradicted yourself. Well, they don't cause what happens. They, they determine they, what they, can they, or cannot happen. No, 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 no. How does how does how does the law of identity determine what events can take place? Because with uh, if the law of identity is true, then something cannot not be itself. So it's determining that something that, cannot that doesn't, be itself. Oh, oh, yeah. How does the principle of identity determine what sequencing of events are? Your mic cut out. I said, how does the law of identity dictate any uh, causal connections? Well, it doesn't. Does the, okay, 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 good. Now you've contradicted yourself. It's not causing what is, okay. it simply is. Yeah, it, so listen, listen to me. You're going to have to drop the laws of logic as causal entities, okay? So now you're talking about the fundamental constants. Okay, so what you're saying is, is there a plurality of discrete and independent states collectively that dictate all discrete uh, concrete objects? You're going to have to dumb that down for me. Okay. You said of nature, right? You might cut out. You said the laws, the law, the cosmological co cosmological constants dictate all instances, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, why did Stephen Hawking say at the Big Bang all physics breaks down? I think he was lying. <laughs> or you he think was he was lying? Oh, okay, good. Okay, so explain to me: Are each of these discrete states that you call the uh, cosmological constants? Are they absolute within themselves? Does that mean they can't be false? Or? No, it means that they're self-contained, unconditionally non-dependent and not. Yes, these things are unconditionally non-independent. And how did you determine that each of these discrete states are absolute within themselves and eternal? Uh, science. Science, yeah. I'm waiting. How did you determine that? Science. Science. I didn't hear you. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm listening. I said science. That's not informative. What do you not understand? Boom. I'm still waiting for you to explain. Can you hear me? Are you lagging or something? What's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agnostic. Do you think I'm stupid? Yes. I hope not. <laughs> do you think I don't know what you're doing? Mm. Mm, what do you mean? Okay, do it one more time, play dumb, and you'll be done, okay? Because I don't appreciate when people try to play dumb, okay? Mike's cutting out. I don't appreciate when you're playing dumb. Explain to me how you know that any discrete state, okay, is unconditionally non-dependent and eternal. How could you know that? 
the scientific method. That's right. How 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 would you is uh, it deception? I might cut out again. Does science operate through induction? I don't know what that is. Okay, we're done. Okay, you're an idiot. Thank you for your wasting my time. Okay. He doesn't know what that is, but he knows there's no God. Well, guess what? You do know there's a God. You just don't want there to be a God. But I got some good or bad news. Bad news. When your heart stops, you're going to be boots, but then it's going to be too unless you repent. Okay? Unless you turn. Repent or perish. You're going to spend eternity. Okay? And it is because of your arrogance and your pride in your belief that your mental autonomy is coherent, actual, and intelligible, but it's indefensible. Okay. So, you know, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a Burger King world. Have it your <laughs> Burger, way. Burger King. <laughs> you don't wanna praise God, you don't wanna thank him, you don't wanna come to him to salvation, he's gonna give you what you want. And that's gonna be eternal damnation. Okay, if anyone else wants to step up the plate and to me why it's reasonable that uh, not to believe God of the Bible, just flash your headset at the bottom of your screen and keep doing it so I can see it. We can't seem to find any really intelligent atheists uh, other than people who are playing dumb and obtuse and faking it till they make it. Okay, the God of Trans. Go ahead. Can you hear me? And hello. I'm listening. Okay, I just want to make sure you can hear me before I started. Um, so I am a former Christian tor- t- turned atheist. Uh, turned a while ago at this point. Um, and I just wanted, to, I just want, I just wanted to see what I just wanted to see what would happen because. I've been hearing you talking to all these people. Uh, I don't think you're making that good of arguments. Bone. Uh, for one thing, uh, you just ended that argument with that one person, not know their name. Where can you? Can you, basically- can you hold on? Hold on. Can you get a little closer to your microphone? It's a bit loud, but it's echoey. It's my just- default. It's my default laptop microphone. Is that any better? That, that, that's a little better. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Um. Like I don't like I don't think you made that good of an argument with that. La- uh, like in the end there, um, after they had already what a, left. What what a do you, what do I care that you don't ex- say? Do you have a defeater? Do I have a defeater to your argument? Um, yeah. Well, I was going. Well, I was I was about to bring that up. I was about to um, I was about to I was about to basically turn your little um, Pascal's wager back on you and basically say. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not Pascal's wager. That's the gospel of Jesus Christ. You're, oh, no. Uh, I'm talking about the uh, gospel. I'm talking about past. I'm talking about how um, you, 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 you weren't aware that I was the, explaining Jesus Christ. No, at the end of the at the end of your argument, after after you had already kicked him out, you said something that basically akin to uh, once you die, you know, once you die, you're going to go to you're going to go to hell and you'll know it. But um, yeah, what if, that's not Pascal's wager. That's just that's that's a. Uh, well, well, what if a different a gospel? Bi- it's a it's a, it's a binary choice. Okay. No, it's not. That's what that's what Pascal's wager says it is, but they're wrong. Um, well, say, Pascal's wait. Well, Pascal Pascal's wager is binary, and the gospel binary situation: repent and turn to Christ as your savior, or you will face the due punishment of your sin. They're both binary, but that doesn't mean they're the same. Well, what if that's wrong? What if, you, what if, let's say, for example, uh, well, the God, well, here's the, the God well, of Islam here, well, here, is correct? Here, here, well, here's the problem. Okay, well, that's a worldview body double that you're throwing out because you're not a Muslim, are you? Uh, it's irrelevant. I am. I am making. I am uh, presenting no, a you're, you're, possibility. You're not, you're, well, if you're going to oppose the indispensability and the um, it's late enough time to remember the other word tonight, exclusiveness of the Christian worldview, um, then you're going to have to put forth your worldview, not only as true, but as a 
the Christian worldview. You can't put on the table another worldview that's not your own because from your perspective, that's false. Now you said, what if it's wrong? Well, it can't be because the Christian worldview in terms of the combined character set of the um, Christian God are collective attributes without which uh, right, wrong, true, and false, uh, and intelligibility, without that, these things couldn't be instantiated. So the Christian worldview can't be false. What if I'd argue your morality is false, and therefore, if, you, and you, therefore you, you, you... You won't be able to have a metaphysic that can instantiate falsehood. What I mean, in worldview, just... what in your worldview is going to initiate truth, human reason, and intelligibility. What is that if not the God of the Bible? Utilitarianism. Uh, that's that's my. Yeah, I mean, moral... really, 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 really. So utilitarianism is <clears throat> well, it's just, it's just the way things work. Okay. <clears throat> now here's the problem. Do you know how things work? It's not just how things work. It's a question of uh, what what choice is going to create the least okay. suffering and the okay. most pleasure. In, 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 you see, what you're doing right now, you're, you're rabbit trailing, you know, on that you're ch trying to channel centers. That doesn't get you to ath atheism. You say it produces it does, the least it does, it does. suffering. That presupposes you know how things work. Yeah. So what I'm asking, what I'm asking you is this. Okay, well, you say, well, what if it's false? Well, it can't be false because uh, the Christian worldview in terms of the attribute set of God and the fundamental parameters which he has imposed, right, are the very grounds for truth, reason, falsity, uh, and, and intelligibility. Now, if you don't accept that, then you're going to have to explain how truth and reason uh, are are apprehendable. Can you do that? I think i think i have a i have a i have a um sorry i i, I do have like a little bit of a stutter and i have adhd so yeah um you, you know what that is that is not a problem okay as long as you're being cordial and thoughtful and transparent whether i agree with you or not um that's not a problem okay um perfect then and Look, i stutter sometimes it's no big deal Think about it Thank you. Um, and also, uh, just so you know, sh uh, she pronouns and everything, if you refer to me later on or whatever. Um, and Okay, so no, my... No, that, 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 that will not be happening. I don't capitulate to people's delusions, but that's another it's, subject, so we'll go, on, we'll go on. Then call me they. Um, and, well, my, my worldview about uh, where knowledge comes from is just how we experience is just this is how we experience the world no I, you're not you're not understanding the issue okay what fundamentally dictates um all instances of what is can be and cannot be including the capacity that that we can have knowledge and the appropriation of it is there one singular concrete thing that dictates all instances no i don't i i, I okay. don't i think okay I think I know okay so so there's nothing there's nothing in control of all of the plurality plurality of events there's nothing simply dictating that so you're in a world you're in a world that is where chance is ultimate rather than god is ultimate Nothing conscious. No, the only thing that even okay, comes. No, did, did you did you understand what I just said? I think so. Either either you're going to accept that God is that that He's revealed Himself in creation and through human history through the person of Jesus Christ, and He is the supreme being, the Creator and ultimate, and He is the. One he said nothing conscious, so he said world. no. Okay. He said not God. He literally yeah. said that. Pull your head out of your ass. Why why is why is your microphone open? Fake it till you make it. Because I crushed you. How did he get his microphone open? How'd that they're, right, they're right, though. I did say nothing conscious. Boom! Oh, okay. wrecked. Oh, okay. wrecked. Now, oh. 
let's let's go back a bit for that unnecessary fake it till you make it commercial <laughs> and you can get it at your local uh, b dalton's or amazon uh, uh, epistemology works in all on top um okay so so you reject the notion that god institutes all and he also does not exist and therefore doesn't impose whatever you among the diversity of things tell me what does impose that um basic basically the basically um our destiny and stuff is we don't have a destiny um for lack of a better Death term tiny you know Des tiny is a, is a youtuber he's not Oh, Destiny is okay. a YouTuber. That's funny. You're funny. Um, yeah. So, um, is something that is singular and is concrete that imposes all instance of particularity, imposes I'm, and sustains whatever correlativeness or unity things? You're Does using, such a thing. You're using really weird big words right now. I'm going to assume that. Okay. All right. I'm, okay. All I, right. All right. That's that's fine. I'll, can I'll I try, try to dumb it down? Okay. Can I tr can I try to dumb it down so yeah, I can? Yeah. Uh, so, sure. so let me know. Let me know if I'm getting this correctly. You're basically asking me what causes the events of the world, right? They're just bullshit. There is the uh, there is nothing above the there is nothing above the universe. I guess. No. No. I want to know ultimate. What is ultimate? I, I guess the I guess just it, by ultimate. I'm asking you, what is singularly concrete in a singular abstract that yep. will dictate of what is can be cannot be nothing. Viable a defense. Nothing except for the laws of our universe, and that only is determined for our universe, and there might be other universes. So nothing. So what you're appealing to is a plurality of states, each with each other, and not concretely by dictating all instances. I think it's more. I think it's most likely that there is more than that. There is many. What's it like? I'm, no, no, sir. We're, I'm not. I'm not asking you what is most. Asking you. You, since you reject God as your creator, yes. So what it is that institutes and imposes the con any particular or discrete state of affairs and any unity among the diversity of things. So what, what imposes that? Act? Nothing imposes anything. It's just all the. It's just all so, so, so not, so, chemical so, reactions and so, electricity. Okay. No. Yeah. You're not. You. So the rock outside your window is either eternal and absolute with itself. It's self-contained, right? Meaning it would be unconditionally non-dependent and non-derivative, and it needs no extrinsic or external explanation for why. It is as a concrete entity, okay? Mm -hmm. Or the rock is not, um, as we uh, say, it is not self-contained. It's not absolute in and of itself. And the actuality is derivative of something else that is fundamentally eternal and absolute, okay? So either because it's self-contained and non-derivative or the rock so is the rock derivative or non-derivative our universe is self-contained no i'm asking you about the rock okay is the rock absolute in and of itself is it eternal a rock will eventually be broken down into its particular particles whenever the sun is a here. is a rock is a rock eternal on derivative. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, is I, is there anything? <laughs> is there any? Is there anything that is a discrete entity that is As eternal? It, the universe. No, that's an abstraction. That's a conceptual set of. Ow. Uh, a, 
plurality, a plurality of things. Can you now, justify each, that? Each, no, it's it's definitional. I think the universe it's, is factual. Okay. Like we know it no, exists. No, no, no. Okay, all right. This is going over your head. Okay. Is is the universe one concrete thing that has no? It, it's not divisible. It, that it's it, one concrete thing, and it, there are no internal discrete parts states or the universe a exists. single term that is a, a mental conception grouping two or more discrete concrete things it's just one it's just a thing that is it's just the thing that is that our that our solar system and stuff is contained is it our is it one concrete thing mm, it's an and it's kind of like a um it's just all it's just all of space where our where our laws of physics so are you're just you're so you're just making this up as you go along right not really it's just our laws our and, the and, part and, of space and, and, hold on hold on a second apply. Hold, how who how do you how do you know that this is universal our laws of physics yeah um because from what we have observed we everything we have seen has yeah, followed our laws of physics. That's that, that that that's begging the question. Leonard Susskind is an internationally uh, physicist. Okay, he stated that physics, for all we know, could operate entirely different from what we experience here. So you're saying is physics everywhere is just like where you are? That's begging the question. I think he's wrong. Oh, okay. Now, in order to be wrong, is there an ultimate truth from which all derive so that you can know certain statements are wrong? Here's see, okay, so is there an you, is 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 there an ultimate truth? Is there an ultimate truth as in is there a truth to the universe? Yes. Is there is there, no there is scientific no. factual truth. Okay. All right. We're 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 done. You're not. This is this is going over your head. You just no. There, no. Not, there's no. There, you, you're, you're not understanding. Your words going so listen, under that you think you're over my head. <laughs> what is it? What is it? The ultimate truth from which all other truth statements derive and depend. What is, is the ultimate truth statement from where from where all other truth statements derive and depend? Okay. Uh, there is. I guess I guess just we observe facts of the universe and we determine our facts. No, from okay, okay. Do you, do you have any idea how clueless you are? Clueless? That's a new word for me. Has have have clueless? Clueless? No, yes, I am not clueless. clueless. Do you do you know how clueless okay. you are? Have, have you have you Good observed question. all the facts of the universe? I have either re I have read about quite a few and I have observed some myself, but not all of them. Okay. Has anybody individually or collectively observed all the facts of the universe? Not yet. Then how do you know what all the facts of the universe are? You don't. I'm not going to claim that. So, you're not, so, so now you're contradicting yourself. No, I'm. I'm not going to claim. I'm going to. I'm going to right, claim I'm, that. Okay. We, all right. All right. Listen, you're you're a deeply deluded individual. Says you. On several Says levels. You. Okay. Now, I mean, now, my dude, you're just you projecting. You're just to... projecting. Why, projecting. Why are That's why right. are you calling me a dude? Why are you bigoted? I I use the word dude gender neutrally. Well, yeah. I I consider that bigoted when you call me dude. Why? It is just a term. Be, be, because no, because I identified as a du dudette at the moment, <laughs> so I consider you a bigot. Dude is a gender neutral term. Please not refer to me as a, a dude. Please, please identify me by the terms and concepts that I identify with. Okay. <laughs> and I know what you're doing here. And if you want to, well, talk, aren't, aren't you, aren't you, aren't you going to respect the terms that I identify not, with? Not if you're lying about them and you are, no, you're just no, doing it to I'm tease me. You. That you're not lying and self delude the terms that you want to apply. You're doing it to tease me. That's the difference. How I do I? How it. do I? How do you? How do I know that you aren't on a lifeline trip of just being a narcissist person who fantasizes that you want to be a woman and you're just goofing on me and everybody else? How do I know you're I not doing that? 
Well, that's what that's what you tell me. Uh, I can't no, read your I, mind. No, no, I don't. No, here's the thing. Here's the difference. Would you please you not call me dude? Would you call me dude? Okay, bro. Okay. Uh, here's the okay. difference. Here's no, the difference, no, no, bro. no. Please, please. I don't. I don't identify as being a bro <laughs> at the moment. Please stop being. Uh, you know. You know. Trans dudette. Okay. Right? I'm not a bro and I'm not a dudette. Okay. You are terrible at this. You are terrible at this, my dude. No, you just said you're no, not a dudette, no. so my dude. Um I, I do have to tell you though, at times I'm dude and do it dude at fluid at any given moment when I'm a dude. You are terrible. You, what at you this. need to why? do is why do you think what you need to do is you need to ask of me how I identify at any given moment so that you're not bigoted. I, I know real life gen gender fluid people. You're just being cringe right now. Uh, okay. Well, well, I, well, why can't well, well, well? I identify as not being cringe. So <laughs> there you go. Well, that's not. Well, that's not. Well, do you know? Did you know would that gender you please, is a social contract? Would you? Would you? Would you? Okay. Um, did you know that gender is a social jo contract? Do you know who John Money is? Yes, I do, and I know that he is right, a right, child right, abuser. Right. Who did not actually? Right. Who, did, who has nothing to do with our movement? And do you, and no. Do you understand that historically, the, the the concept that gender is a social construct historically came from him? That's a lie. It's uh, no, it, you, came the, I, it came from the. But anyway, sociology. let's let let's get back to the real issue here. Okay. You need to refer <sighs> to me by the way that I identify as. Otherwise, you're a bigot. Do you identify so it that you, way? I don't believe you because earlier. Would you? Would you because please, earlier, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you how I identified. At the okay, particular then. then can you not, explain? All it? I asked you to do, all I do, was not identify me as a do when I told you at one particular time. I'm identifying as a do that. Okay, okay, if you actually, but if you, you actually you, mean, but, you, but, but, you if you actually, but if you actually mean that, you Mr. Insist, old man, you dark dolphins, polite. Okay, please let me finish. I don't want to have to mute you. You you are deliberately not showing deference to how I identify myself as, aren't you? No, not at all. I am So you so you are showing deference to how I identify myself? I do not I, I am saying that it, Did I did that. I ask you did I ask you not to call me a dude? I am I am saying that Did I you, ask you not to call me a dude? Can you let me talk? Did I ask you not to call me a dude? Can you let me talk? Okay. Earlier, why, why, whatever why, you said. Why, why are be, what, listen to me. Earlier, listen, if you're not, earlier, if you're, not, if you're not going to respond to me, I will move on to somebody else because you are being socially impolite. And you're being bigoted against my how I identify as. You you are being bigoted about how I identify as. How how have I been bigoted towards you? Earlier you said, earlier I asked you to call me by my preferred pronouns, and you said no, I will not be right. going on that mentally ill stuff. Right, right, okay. <clears throat> well, I consider that mentally ill. Do you consider me mentally ill? Yes. Um, Yes. Uh, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Yes. Um, yes. But regardless. So do, do, you, do you consider me mentally ill because that you are speaking to me and about me in a way that I don't identify as, as? Not for that reason, no. Am I mentally ill because I'm upset? Because you're no. not speaking to me by the way I identify? No. Okay, but I think you are. Okay, and I, I, in fact, and more specifically, I think you're spiritual because you're in an age where you're into narcissism, and because it entails that you want to fantasize that you are something that you are not, which is a delusion. How about I identify as a little boy? Is that okay with you? Uh, social constructs, my dear. What if what if I what if I what if I identify as a thirteen-year-old uh, girl? Is that okay what, with you? Do you know what a social construct what if, is? Excuse me. What if I what if I identify as being five foot and thirteen you know year old a, little girl? Do you know what a social construct My is? My identification with that? No, you won't. Okay, we're we're done. You're do you delicious. know what a social construct you, is? Do you know what a social you, construct is? You you yeah, okay. Wow. Wow. <sighs> Pretty 
professing to be wise, they became fools. Their foolish hearts were darkened and they turned and they worshiped the creation rather than the creator. Okay. Okay. Flash their uh, uh, headset. Explain to me why it's reasonable. Uh, I apologize for prolonging that. I mean, I out of its misery a long time ago, given the fact that this person was absolutely clueless. Okay? So my apologies to the people listening. I know that was torture. Okay. Well, it seems that the lockdown of the microphone stopped the heckling. How about that? Isn't that great? Okay. Any other unbelievers here who in why unbelief in God is reasonable and that it's unreasonable to believe in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior? Because you got some explaining to do. Okay. Well, I can keep on ranting if you want. <laughs> What did Captain America say? I can do this all day. Okay. <clears throat> Find any atheist with uh, levels of testosterone to talk to. Okay. All right, I'm going to take a momentary break to get something to drink. Well, I need to get to bed. I got to wake up before a show at like 8.30 in the morning. So, <sighs> Good night, guys. I think we owe well, what are you drinking? enough for the day. Peace out.